Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to a new video. Now, this week, there's so many new rumors, especially rumors with old CP or couple pairings, reunions, and previous dramas coming back together. As usual, we'll cover it in order. So, usually, I go from dramas that recently aired, talk a little bit about that, drama wraps ups, and then any celebrity news, then we go to rumor territory. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, and also turn on notification bells so you won't miss future uploads. Okay, so first off, we have My Sassy Princess. This one has 22 episodes. It's already airing like half of the drama and probably will be done like soon. I think April 26th, so only like in two weeks. And this is because they usually drop like eight to 10 episodes earlier for VIP members. This drama stars Yuan Bingyan and Cheng Ye Cheng. It's a historical rom-com with the story about the princess and her bodyguard. I actually have lots of things to say about this one, but I'll leave it for my upcoming video, which I'll review with the first impressions of who rules the world. So keep an eye out for that one. Should come like around the end of this week to next week. I do have to warn you guys if you're watching this that this is one that um, the female lead is very reckless and childish. She doesn't really think her way through a lot of things until they get into a relationship. And also there's lots of pacing issues here. But let me know your thoughts on this one so far. Moving on, we have, of course, Who Rules the World. This was a little bit strange. It was supposed to air on the 15th, but then they move it like three days later, which isn't a big deal for me since I'm quite busy and there's been a lot of dramas that's been dropping to occupy my time anyways. But this has 40 episodes and it airs on Tencent Video starring Yang Yang and Zhao Lusi, of course. It's a romance wuxia drama. At the moment, I've only seen six episodes, but after filming this video, I'm gonna binge the rest. This is about two people, the top and most well-known masters of the martial arts world. And they both actually have the same name, which is super fun. It's Hei Feng Shi for the male lead, and the female lead is Bai Feng Shi. This one, I have nothing but good things to say, and I will get into it in the later video, as said, but I really recommend this one. I thought that the pacing was great. The storytelling and the characters were interesting. I really like the design, the costumes. Everything looks pretty well made and put together. Nothing really stands out as problematic overall. And definitely, even though they don't get together, there's a ton of romance and it's not just the tropey, cheesy moments. And it's quite interesting because you have these two people who are supposed to be rivals. I would call them more like frenemies. And just from the first episode alone, you'll get a feel of the worlds, the characters, and it's just well established, well written overall. We also had Blue Flame Assault that aired randomly. I guess it's with the popularity of Doraba and Renja Lin's drama, The Blue Whisper, that made this one um, drop randomly. It's been shelved for a long time. This drama stars Renja Lin or Alan Ren and Chen Xiaoyun. It's an action thriller crime drama. Not too sure if there's romance involved, but it's basically about a man who joins the firefighter team and it's basically his everyday life and how he realizes that there's more to the hero work that's full of ruthlessness, filled with dangerous missions and life and death situations. I believe this one's more of like a friendship work romance instead of a romance one. Not sure if I'll be checking this one out since there's a lot on my plate at the moment, but if you're watching it, let me know if you recommend it. Then we also have the announcement that Countdown of Love aired, which is an Aichi very short mini web series. It has 12 episodes and around 35 minutes each. It's a common thing for Aichi to kind of drop these mini web series all in one go, so I think this is going to happen too. It airs April 19th. This is a romance fantasy starring rookie actors Liu Yunfeng and Li Yu Tong. This is a drama about a 30-day cohabitation contract relationship where the female lead, one day she wakes up and she realizes that there's this watch that's on her wrist that she can't take off and actually the time is ticking backwards and there's 30 days on the clock and it seems like her life will be on the line if it reaches day zero. Although it sounds like it would be a good mystery and I think that will be involved with her just trying to figure out how everything works and what's going to happen. It's also 
definitely more on the rom-com sweet fluffy drama type of list and it actually sounds pretty interesting and if i have time i'll check it out now to dramas that recently wrapped up filming or held their booting ceremony first off we have come for love this has 16 episodes on sohu tv starring sao yuning and yilia yu I believe this is a reunion between the leads of Mysterious Love, a drama that's been on my watch list forever, but I really don't have time for loads of these dramas, so unfortunately haven't seen that. But for fans of that drama and that pairing, you may want to keep your eye on this one. I believe this is also like a thriller romance. There's no specifics or summaries, anything that I can find on it at the moment. But I'm pretty sure after it wraps up airing, um, they'll give us a proper synopsis as well as some real still photos and posters. Another drama with not too much specific information on except for the casting is Speed Paradox or We Go Fast on Trust. This is a part of the mini drama lineup from Mango TV and Hunan TV's collaboration and it should air next year. This stars Alice Ko the girl from Someday or One Day. She's great. I've been following her dramas for a while now. And Jai Chu Lu is the male lead. I've been seeing his name pop up a lot lately too. I believe that this tells a romance between a racer and an engineer, but there's also going to be some type of mystery involved. Another reunion. I swear this is a theme this week and there's going to be multiple more reunion casting and rumors later on, but this one's confirmed. It's Aichi's next drama called Sisterhood. I think the first one is called The Little Nyonya. I think this is like a three-part series or something where there's going to be different dramas. However, the leads will stay the same for the most parts. It stars Xiao Yan and Dai Shang Yu. This is a business romance life drama and it's also a female-centered plot. Caesar Wu was also confirmed that he joined this casting too. This is set in the Japanese colonial era and it just tells how the difficulties of businessmen, businesswomen in the 1930s trying to start up their business and just living the day-to-day -day life. And for newer viewers, as usual, I always list all the titles talked about in the description box. Next is Love in a Loop. It has 24 episodes starring Bai Ke and Zhang Ye Chin. This is a rom-com fantasy in a time loop. This kind of reminds me of Crazy Love with the time loop element. So it's about a very rude and narcissistic boss who's constantly dying because there's always employees trying to get him. And every time he passes away, he is reset to the same day until he gets to the bottom of this. And of course, he does fall in love with one of his employees. This also sounds like another K-drama called Feel Good to Die. And it's basically the same story with a time loop in an office rom-com setting. I think this is really interesting. Can't wait to watch that. On to celebrity news, we have two main news. The first one is that Luhan was calling out a paparazzi after being filmed walking around the streets. He then went on Weibo and posted a little jab, kind of throwing shade at them. So he took a picture of his dog and he said, doggy, be good. You can't keep following and filming me. So in Chinese, I think paparazzi, another word also means dog. Yeah, this is just a ongoing frustration. I think it's something like a very big negative that comes with the job in general. Privacy issues, there's really not many laws or restrictions. And a lot of actors has been voicing out their frustrations. There's lots of extreme cases as well where they just like flood your apartment, leak your number, do like the most wild things, even break into your place sometimes. Definitely an issue in the industry. Next is Tao's dating rumor with Shu Yi Yang. We've been talking about this for a while now. I think the last time I updated about Tao, he was in the scandal with her and he went on the record and, well, not him, but his team said that they denied all allegations but this is like the fourth or fifth time they've been rumored together so there's been a time where they were spotted going out for dinner then there's times where they went on a vacation together and another time i think a netizen called out like one of their backdrop lock screen with their eagle looks exactly like the photo the other person had so like i think it was tao and they said that they spotted someone looking like shu yi yang in the back this time they were spotted going off the set of filming and then going to each other's homes. 
So of course, netizens doubt that the claim or denial was true, but who knows? At the end of the day, it's their business and I just hope that they're happy. I guess they're trying to keep it low key as you would. In the industry, they usually only announce it if they're like very deeply involved, like a couple of years in or they're about to get married or something. Now, next portion is the rumored CP reunion, and it's been a trend lately, as you can tell with this video and even some previous ones, that working again with your co-star is now more like acceptable, I guess. And previously, there hasn't been too many. I think if you do it, I guess a lot of people would just assume that you're dating. But for me, it makes sense because you don't really need to hire PR for any of this since they did all the work with the previous drama together and if they're real good friends in real life and they already work together, why not do it again? So first one, the biggest one is the historical romance drama called A Company The Phoenix, which is the reunion between Kenny Lin and Zhao Liying. I definitely like Kenny Lin, but I don't think that his performance is just as good unless he's in historical gear and he's just so much better with these, I guess, uh, more angsty emotions. He's just more charismatic and just super cool in general. So I'm looking forward to this one. Zhao Liying obviously is great and everybody loves the princess agents. They're waiting for season two, but with the lawsuits and issues, I don't think that's going to happen. And if they scrap that and do this, I'm totally okay with that. So we shall see in June if these rumors are true or not. So there's never like concrete rumors and sometimes they swap the male lead or the female lead out at any time. But hopefully finger crosses for this one. Next is Tang Xiaotan and Xing Fei who are set to reunite in Tencent's upcoming modern romance drama Love You Give Me. Rumors of this one is it will start in mid-May, so I think this would be their third collab together. They were on Put Your Head On My Shoulders, then My Little Happiness, and now this one. And whenever this one comes out, it's a reminder for me to watch um, My Little Happiness. I think I only watched like five episodes and then I put it on hold, kind of forgot about it, need to come back, but I'm never in a rom-com mood to be honest. Anyways, another big couple reunion is Crush, but this is a rumor that they might have either the male lead from that drama, Lin Yanjin, or they'll have Jai Xiaowen and Wan Peng as the leads. I believe that this is a modern romance as well. But based off of the title, maybe something with a little bit more melodrama and definitely Lin Yanjin, for me at least, is just better in the melodrama department. We also have some other big rumors that I'll save for the next episode so it wouldn't get too long. But if you made it all the way here, let's play the emoji game again. And today I want you to comment down below a sunflower emoji if you watched all the way to the end. Really appreciate your support. And if you want to support the channel out even more, links in the description box below to my Kofi page. You can leave a message there as well if you choose to buy me a Kofi. And I'll see you guys in the next video.